Hey y'all, this is Emily with Jan's Garden at the North Texas Food Bank. Today I'm going to be showing you all how to make a really simple activity called a root observation cup. Most of the materials that you're going to need for this activity are going to be ones that are already found at home, such as clear plastic cups, you're going to need two of them, potting soil, which I already have in this cup, seeds, you don't have to use corn seeds, that's what I'm going to be using today, but you're going to want to use a bigger type seed, such as beans or corn. Dark construction paper, black or dark blue, works just as well. A pencil, scissors, and tape. First, take one of the plastic cups and cut down the side of the cup so it's easier to cut out the bottom and around the lip. This will be the template to make the paper sleeve. Trace the template and cut out of the dark construction paper. Next, poke three holes in the bottom of the cup for drainage. The holes don't have to be perfect, just big enough for water to drain through. Once the holes are made, pour enough potting soil into the cup so that the cup is filled to the lip. Then, take four seeds and plant them along the outside of the cup. Do not plant the seeds in the middle of the cup because then the roots will not be able to be seen. Plant the seeds to the depth that is indicated on the seed packet. Finally, take the paper sleeve and wrap it around the cup. Make sure the edges overlap and tape it closed. If the paper does not overlap, add another small strip to close the gap. Roots grow down into the soil where it's dark and moist so the sleeve tricks the roots that it's dark. This allows the roots to grow along the outside of the cup instead of deep into the soil. Don't forget to water the seeds in, keep the soil moist, and set in a sunny windowsill. This is a cup started just a few days ago, and you can already see the roots. If you want to go more in depth with this activity, keep an observation journal, measure the roots, or try this with different types of seeds and compare them. Thanks for watching, and keep growing good times.